killing me some goblins in the goblin layer. I'm on day two. I'm already on stage five of this goblin layer. We're going to get another one later on in the game. We're eventually going to go down and there's going to be a harder one with five more stages for us to do to get more experience. This is really important for us to do because it's 10 stamina no matter what stage you do, but you get a lot more experience. Even though I could only one star stage five right now, I still get one more medium pot and one little pot. So if you three star stage four, you're only going to get one big one, one medium. So it is a lot different. So try to push. And the way to push here is to get a good AOE team. And if you didn't watch my video prior to this on how to reset all your heroes back down to level one, I'll show you that after this, because whenever I have to go farm in here, I reset my heroes and then I level up the heroes I want to run this with any of my heroes that are really good at doing AOE damage on both of their skills, slap them in here. You got to have that three person bonus. You see that three person bonus up top. We found out that right now you can't even have a five person bonus until later on until once we max out that psycho core further, like way later. So right now, all you need is the three person bonus. The way I have my team set up is I've got a tank that can heal itself. And now we can do this with Horus. We're going to get Horus as a three day login. He's really good at self sustaining. So you could throw him in there. And the reason why I do this instead of having like a healer and a tank is of course, so we can have more DPS, but it's also because I like having somebody there to group up the goblins. You see our AOE, our AOE doesn't hit the whole entire board. It only hits, you know, either a square or that cross section. So I need to group them up to be able to get as much damage as quickly as possible in there. And I'm going to beat this stage and I've already beat it 20 times today. Uh, 10, 10 times, I think. I spent 100 stamina 10 times doing it like this. And sometimes I've failed because I'm on stage five and it's pretty damn hard and my guys aren't high enough. But I'm getting a lot of experience now that I'll be able to bring my guys up to level 70 and we will be strong enough to blow through this. Only my tank is on full auto. All my other guys are manual. And it's okay. If you've got a manual to get past the stage, do that. If you see that you're really close to three starring a stage because you have to three star it to get to the next one. Make sure you manual and use food. Use your little special ability on the side. You see how it comes back that little hand on the bottom right. It doesn't do a lot of damage and it gives you a little bit of shield. But hey, if you're close to making three star, do everything you can do to three star. And if you don't make it three star, I've run this back when I was doing stage four to get to here to stage five. I ran stage four. And if I didn't get the three star, I backed out and you don't lose stamina. So I just kept trying it because I was right there at it. I'd have like one guy left and then I'd go under the 50 second mark. So I wouldn't get three star and that's what I wanted. I wanted to get three stars so I could move up. So then I would just back out, save that stamina and just keep trying different variations. So you can come in here and play all you want. And for six days, you can reset all your heroes back down to level one. And I'll show you that. If you didn't see that guide, I'll show you that right after this run. There's a damage meter on the side. You can pull it out if you want to check out their damage, but it's really cool if you can get a tank because grouping them up like this really helps out. Otherwise, if you haven't noticed when you're going through here, if you do like a straight line or you have a couple people up front, they kind of spread out. You'll have two over on this side, two on that side. And even with me having this tank here, sometimes they go around every once in a while. They, they, they're not supposed to, but they'll go around my tank and we'll have one kind of floating out here. And then if you do a tank that has like a jump ability, there was one tank I was using earlier today and uh, no, it was, a, it was a poison attacker and it flies forward into the goblins, kind of like a dash move. But then the goblins would go past it and run up to my guys here and it would throw off our ability to do those AOE moves like we're doing right now, right? To keep them all clumped up to get that damage in there. So make sure you're pushing in here. It makes a big difference. It's only 10 stamina every stage, but you're going to get a lot more experience if you can push. Make sure you always have that three person bonus. If you want to cook food and use food, go cook it up. The recipes are down below in a Google document. Go check out those recipes, get like 10% additional attack, use it. It's really wise to use it just to get past that stage and then come over here and look at your roster. Look at everybody who can do AOE. This is a massive rare right here. This lady is so good for so many things. I'll do a dedicated guide on the best rares tomorrow, but she can do AOE here. AOE here, and it's a hard hitting ability. So look for characters like this, bring them into the goblin cave. And then if you're lucky enough to have a tank before day three, but you'll have one on day three with Horus because he is really good. You'll have him on day three. If you're lucky enough to have one like this, that can self sustain, that can heal himself. He actually heals everybody. He's an epic and he's pretty damn, uh, pretty damn good, but you'll have Horus on day three. So you can reset then 
and bring him up and use him in here. Throw him in the front line. He'll heal himself back up. Here's where you reset your heroes. Just go to select heroes, select as many as you want that are leveled up. They'll give you the resources back. You will lose a little bit of experience. Any experience that you gain for going through stages, whenever you run something, you know how you get like a hundred experience. Well, you're not going to get that back. You're only going to get the actual pots you used back. So it's good to do this on heroes that you didn't like just throw in there all the time and just get experience naturally from just throwing them in waves. Does that make sense? Because otherwise, if I had this level 46 and I take him back down to zero and he gained 46 with no pots just from being in a group when I throw him in a group, you won't get any experience back. You'll get like a little bit of coin, I think, and he'll go back down to one. And you don't want that. That's not a good thing. But most of these, I just have them like at 50. I take them back down. I use the experience pots to bring them back up to 50. You can do this a thousand times a day. There is no limit to taking these guys back down to level one and then leveling up other heroes. But you do have six days. So at the end of six days, make sure you pick the heroes you want leveled up. But if you make it really far in the goblin cave like I'm doing, you're going to have tons of experience to level up a whole bunch of heroes. Later on, we won't need a healer or a tank going through the goblin cave. We'll be tough enough to just bring in our DPS, clear through it really easy. Good luck on the goblin cave. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all in a video soon.